So you've invested all of your funds in the GPU you've always dreamed of. Your gaming's on fire. However, over the time wear and tear takes place, causes your graphics card to overheat and suddenly all that pure joy turns into ashes. So in this video, we will stop your GPU from overheating without disassembling it. This tutorial applies not only to desktop gaming PC but also to gaming laptops. Thank you for the incredible support. Let's keep the momentum going together. So after gaming for a while, I noticed that my GPU temperatures were getting a bit high, even reaching 90 degrees Celsius. It appears that the temperatures were not from the main sensor, but from the hotspot. What is a hotspot? In recent years, AMD and Nvidia have integrated multiple sensors around the GPU chip region, indicating the hottest point. The manufacturer states that anything between 80 to 90 degrees Celsius is acceptable. I realized my fan's RPM was running at a maximum of around 70%. Then I used MSI Afterburner and enabled user-defined fan control. Things really changed. Not only did the fan reach its full power, but the temperature also started dropping. But things were not the same after I restarted the computer because Afterburner was not running on Windows startup. Then after a while of googling, I finally found a better utility. that. Could could even save the settings, even if I'm not allowing the program to run a Windows startup. Before that, make sure you download and install Hardware Monitor utility from CPUID.com that we will use to monitor our temperatures, especially hotspot sensors. The good thing about this utility, it even allows you to monitor temps from different hardware in your desktop or notebook computer. After that, we will download and install Install Velocity X from PNY.com. Compared to Afterburner, this utility has a lower footprint on your computer's RAM. It allows you to use only specific functions of your GPU, whereas Afterburner has on screen display and screen recording features that we don't really need for the moment. From the Velocity X GUI, click on the Adjust button located just below the Fan Duty slider. In the Fan Control window, instead of default curve hardcoded on your GPU, select the User Defined Fan Curve. Set the second point so that if the temp reaches 60 degrees, the fan is running at 70%. And then the third and fourth point is set to run at full 100%. If it reaches 70 degrees. This way, your GPU never crosses over 72 degrees. Even when playing titles with heavy graphics, we uncheck load on Windows startup and close the program and test it on real time gaming to see if the settings were still running. Make sure you click on keep current and quit before closing Velocity X program. Rules of engagement are simple weapons free on all threats. Gas is closing in. Friendly buy station is ready. Get to the safe zone. These are some ideal temperatures that you should configure, especially if you have an older GPU. We tested running Warzone 2 for almost half an hour, and the hotspot temperature never crosses 71 as expected. This is a solid significant improvement compared to the previous 90 degrees. In this method, we will attempt to reduce GPU temperatures using the NVIDIA control panel, access it from the test bar or through the right click menu on the desktop. In the NVIDIA control panel, click on manage 3D settings and search for power management mode. The default setting is driver controlled, but you can set it to adaptive. If temperatures still seem high to you, this setting will automatically lower your FPS. 
as soon as the GPU exceeds its maximum temperature limits. It also serves to protect your GPU from wear and tear if necessary. You can also try changing physics configuration and see if it helps. You can watch the difference between adaptive and high performance mode configurations on this NVIDIA Quadro P2000 5GB 160 bits graphics card. Here are some tips to assist you that will likely extend the lifespan of your graphics card. Hope this was really helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.